Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Bev. Bev early. Bev. My mom called me Bev. Anyway, I today's kitchen cotton month, day number 30. Day number 30, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I still haven't run out of projects. Day 31 is going to be a tutorial on a hanging towel, the way I do mine. Which is tidbits from this person and tidbits from that person. Guess what this is? This is a Swiffer or a Biffer, a Biffer, a Biffer duster wig. That's what this person calls their pattern. And of course, I'll have a link below. Biffer Duster Wig from Gherkin's Bucket. Up there. Can you guys see it good? Of course, it's going to be linked below. Um, this on the back is just where I use the paper over and over. Maybe I should look at that pattern up. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Anyway, here's the picture of the wig the biffer wig okay here's my biffer wig now this is um you start out following gherkin's pattern and you make one of these <laughs> you make one of these where is it here it is premier home cotton I bought all this cotton myself. Premier didn't give it to me at all. Summer Kitchen. That's the color this is. And I have two of these. So that means I got two to make. Okay. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you one here. And what you do is you make the centerpiece. Then you put this novelty yarn on here. Now, what this novelty yarn is, is Burnett Pip, Pip Squeak. And I don't think they make this anymore. So before it was discontinued, I bought three skeins of it so I would have it to make the Biffer wig, duster wig. Okay, so let me take this off of here and show you how it works. Okay, so you got your Biffer. And on these... Oh, it'll be easier to show you on this. When you crochet these, you're basically making two channels because you're doing a crochet in the front loop and then the next row is a crochet in the back loop. So there's little holes, which, see I pulled them apart a little so you can see. So you take your biffer and you take a few moments because if you ram it through, ram it through, you might mess up, you know, the weaving. And you just slowly take a breath. And of course you'll have this on it, you know. So I'll show you on this one. This one's brand new. I haven't used this. I just finished making this in the car on the way home from lunch. Okay, where'd we go to lunch? We went to the chicken salad chip. Favorite. Okay, now, there it is. There's a hole right there. I hope you can see. I'm going in. I'm going in. And then on the other side, there is. Now, you guys might say, oh, this is not worth the trouble. But it really is, okay? Because you know how expensive these are, these refills. So... For the sake of the video, that one's not been used. I'll put this one back on. Okay, so we just put it in. And you feed it through. Do, do, do. You know, and you know how it is when you're on camera. Everything goes, whatever. But you guys get the idea. See, I'm putting it on here. On the biffer. And you just take your time. And it goes on. And see, this one's going. Here it goes. It's going. But anyway, so after you follow Gherkin's pattern, 
on how to create this part then you have to put your novelty yarn and she doesn't make a suggestion as far as the novelty yarn and now this Bernat pipsqueak okay there I go see I got it on I got it on you know and then now you can just dust and then you can throw this in the washing machine or you can leave it on run some soapy water in your sink you know or before you do your dishes or after you do your dishes I don't know because I have a dishwasher but anyway you can put it in some soapy water and just go like that and then you know wring it out wring it out and let it dry right on the handle and by the time you want to dust again it, it'll be dry okay or you can throw this in the dryer whatever but okay so I like the pipsqueak yarn now the burnet blanket yarn I don't think would work because you know how the burnet blanket you pull it and it just comes off pieces find a novelty yarn that's fluffy um, I don't care what brand it is and see if you can pull off the things see I can't pull these off so that's why I like the pipsqueak but I don't think you can't burn that pipsqueak anymore so if you get some off eBay or at a yard sale or whatever but see and I don't always match up the color to the handle you know it's just fun and doesn't take very much cotton yarn to do this and the pipsqueak yarn when I'm using it I take it off from the outside and then I can just stick this in here. I have two more I gotta make. But you know, there's the pip squeak yarn. So that is the Biffer Duster. So hopefully you guys understand the concept. And oh, and her pattern tells you how to put this on. Okay, and you only put it this on on three sides. And I go around twice. So what they say is you would make a slip knot on your hook you know and then you know pull it through on your piece pull it through on your piece decide which end you think has the you know nicest little holes and so start over here and insert your hook put your little slip knot on here pull it through and chain 10 then what I do as I have my hooks up here with the chain 10 on it, I slip stitch in the next stitch. I just slip stitch and then I chain 10. And then I slip stitch in the next stitch. And I go all the way around, including straight across the end. Because you know how your Swiffer is, the end of it is like this. And I go down the side. Then, because I feel that one row is not enough, I come back. So, I chain eight and when these are in if you take and pull it apart you can see that there's a space in between the stitches or beside the stitch that you can slip stitch after you chain eight and then that gives me two rows and it gives my Swiffer you know extra fluffiness now and just to tell you I was at I sold, sold these at the craft show and I was there, you know how the craft shows are, they're from 9 until 2 or something like that. I had a guy bought one of these. Took it, I don't give him a handle because these, you know, can be expensive. They have to get their own handle. So if they don't have a handle, I tell them to go to Walmart or someplace. Even the Dollar Tree, wherever, it doesn't have to be a Biffer design. Any kind. And um, he tried it out. He came back and he bought two more <laughs> so apparently at his house he he's been taught to dust I wish I could do that to mine I never even thought about it but he always does a lot <laughs> so anyway so you make this part then you put this on and you got your biffer and you just take your time you know I don't want to rush and mess this up but you just feed it right, you know, between there. There's a pipe. There's a pipe. I can stick my hook down through it. You know, you can see. Do, do, do. So, so the pattern will be listed below. 
thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm looking forward to my Potiversary and the giveaway Jan September, January, September 3rd. So, love you guys. 